right, son, I'm gonna go get milk. Hold down the floor, alright? Oh no, oh god, oh no! Ow, my spine! Jackson's parents died when he was young, leaving him with very little. This forced him to live with his other relatives. Hey, Jackson, I heard your dad died very rough. Anyways, you can hang out here. Alright, so uh, you choose whatever bunk you like. Um, just uh, don't raid my fridge, alright? Jackson would attend school where he would do poorly in. All right, well, that wraps up class. Um, Jackson, you're going to need to stay after class because I'm, I need to have a word with you. All right, Jackson, you scored low on your test. And uh, as you can tell, this village is run down. And I forgot where I was going <laughs> with this, but if you want to make it big in this world, um, you're going to have to score higher. So I'm going to assign you extra homework. But he was able to pass it. Jackson, I cannot believe you passed. Um, well, you graduated, so uh, here's your uh, diploma. And uh, do good things. Right after school, he would join the military. All right, Jackson. So if you want to join, you're going to have to uh, show me that you graduated uh, school. All right, looks good. Protection one. All right, yeah, here, here's your uniform. Right after Stonewall Jackson joined the, the military, he, the Mexican War had just broken out and he was stationed at the first battle of Damn it Jackson, get on that cannon! Right after the first battle of Bull Run, Jackson will be given his nickname, Stonewall Jackson. Here's a clip from a documentary of how he got it. Jackson moves his forces up in the, in, the face of a, in the face of the Union attack, which is crumbling the Confederate left. He moves them up onto a small crescent-shaped hill, just on the reverse side of the hill to protect them from the enemy fire. He commandeers 26 cannon that are moving across the battlefield in, in, from the Confederate retreat and aligns them on the hill. And basically, he stands there, very cool, very calm under pressure, on top, uh, sitting on top of his horse. And as General B, General B retires, he says, "General Jackson, they're pressing us. They have us beaten." And Jackson turns around and says, "Yes, but we'll stand steady, and we'll give them the bayonet when they come to us." And B turns around, and his response is, he rides his troops, and he says, "Gentlemen, there stands Jackson like a stone wall. Rally round the Virginia." And at that point, the forces of General B, who were in pell-mell retreat, return to the battlefield, and they stand steady beside Jackson's life. After the Mexican War was over, he would resign from the military and become a professor. However, the Civil War came up and Jackson was asked to join back in the military. Jackson, the Civil War has broken out. We need your help. He was then promoted to Lieutenant General for his work on defending forts. Oh, I, I didn't mean to shoot you. Oh, God, oh. As sad as it is, Jackson would be shot by his own soldier on accident. He would later die due to his wounds. Sorry, Jackson. Thought you were one of the skeletons, but... It took me a while to realize you had flesh on your bones. Stonewall Jackson was a great leader and strategist. That's why he's an important figure in American history.